Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to be taking you through some um, steps to designing a patient journey map. So rather than a customer journey map, this is uh, very similar I guess in, in terms of uh, layout, but um, we're going to be focusing in um, a patient journey and what they might be going through. So I'm going to start off by just um, drawing a line and making it just a little bit thicker. I think I'll go with black. I'm also going to be getting rid of these. Don't really need them. In fact, um, I will turn off the guides because for this, in this instance, I don't really need them. Um, all right, so I have gone ahead and grabbed some icons. I've just got them sitting there on the side, just ready um, for me for when I need them. Um, in this, you know, hypothetical patient journey, I'm going to have six different steps. And for each one, I'm going to draw a circle. Now, I want the circle to be white and I would like that line to be the same thickness as this line here. So I'm going to use the Format Painter tool just to copy um, the thickness. I'll have to fill that in again. And now I'm just going to center everything. Now I have used the keyboard shortcuts just because it's something that I am familiar with and I use all the time. Um, now I am duplicating this shape by clicking on the Control and Shift keys and then dragging that until I have six. And now also using the keyboard shortcuts, I am going to distribute them evenly across the slide, but you can also do that um, just by going into um, your menu ribbon. So let's say um, we start out with uh, maybe Maybe the patient starts off seeing a doctor and then um, they have a bit of a conversation. Actually, I'm just going to bring this up to the top. So they might have a conversation and they're told they need to go and see a specialist, in this case, perhaps a cardiologist. Um, then they're asked to go and do some blood tests and uh, the results come back and they are told that they need to take some medicine. So that's, that's, um, we'll start off with that. Now, what we might be tracking here is how the patient might be feeling at the time, how confident they are, perhaps. Um, whether they're concerned so just maybe we're tracking their emotions and I'm just going to just randomly create a little bit of a graph here I will need to just go back and adjust it I'd say so I might go with this color here now I want to remove the outline I'm going to send this to the back and I would also like to change the opacity so I want to make it a little bit transparent uh, yeah that's fine and now so maybe this is patient one so perhaps there was a study done and a number of patients were interviewed so this would represent patient one and now we'll draw a different um, graph And this would perhaps represent patient two. So 
so I need to complete that and when I do complete that shape it automatically fills itself in I'll remove the outline I'll send it to the back and I think I'll also change the opacity mm. that was too much okay and there was really there was no contrast I couldn't really see what was going on so so this would be patient one and this is patient two and then what I want to do is um, just add some information about these different steps and what they might be I think I'll go for a dotted line and I need to change the weight otherwise I can't really see it, see it and I want to center it so again I'm just using the short the shortcuts to center them and by clicking F4 it does keep the last um, command in the memory so I just hit M4 and it automatically centers for me now I will grab a text box and just put some text in here so this might just be you know step one Oops. align it to the top um, and maybe I'll go for semi bold and for here I'll just go yeah standard um, Poppins is the font I've chosen so step one might be um, visit doctor Oops. and maybe before this um, you know the, the patient is concerned which I probably should have had an icon for but as this is an example um, hopefully it'll help you with the process of designing a patient journey map um, so maybe visit the doctor and I'll just again using the control shift key I'm just duplicating these so I don't have to do them one by one and then I'm snapping them they're just snapping to the center there Oops. Step two. I might have this actually a lot bigger. And then if I click the Format Painter tool and then F4, and it will apply that formatting for me. Uh, this is conversation visa the specialist um, asked to undertake blood, blood tests results are discussed and maybe medication is prescribed And then over here, we might have some information about how the how the patient is feeling. So the patient is very um, concerned. Again, maybe the patient's very concerned. Um, oh, awaiting blood test results. So again, maybe they're not they're not feeling very confident. 
and over here so this patient over here is feeling more confident now that they've seen the specialist and they're not as concerned So there is a, an example of a patient journey map. You could, of course, add other information here. You might want to have um, you know, information about what was actually said at the visit at the doctor. So you might add a, a bit of a quote. Um, and yeah, if you've got other patients, you might also want to add a a legend if it gets too confusing because I mean you know you might end up with a lot more patients so do a little legend and then I want to copy the exact color there patient one and patient two get the eyedropper and grab that and there you have it and maybe we should put a nice title over here I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial. <laughs> Thank you.